Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to all new video series on Raspberry Pi. And in this video we'll be talking about understanding and introduction to Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi, what is this suddenly? Well, the Raspberry Pi is a low cost credit sized computer that plug into a computer monitor or CV and uses a standard keyboard and mouse. This is what is the Raspberry Pi that you are seeing the right hand side of this slide. And it is capable of doing everything you would expect a desktop computer to do, from browsing the internet and playing high definition videos to making spreadsheets, word processing and playing games as I already said. So these are the different kinds of operations that you can do using Raspberry Pi. So to summarize, Raspberry Pi is a low cost single board computer. It costs very low as $1.35 and can be used as a stripped down version of computer to perform specific operation which you are most interested in. So why suddenly Raspberry Pi in executeautomation.com? That's a good question. Well, two things which I felt very interesting. The first thing is it's very cool and it opens doors to perform a lot of operations like trying out different Linux distro operating systems and use it as a web server or mail server or a FTP server because the power consumption of this Raspberry Pi is very 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 minimal and you can keep on running this Raspberry Pi in an open space for 24 hours a day 365 days a year and it will just keep on running and that's the cool thing about Raspberry Pi as well and you can use it as a WordPress hosting server because it's cheap and it can run even in a very minimal power supply and doesn't dissipate a lot of heat and it is also very easy to maintain so you can use it as a WordPress hosting server as well and you can use it as a media server and you can use it as a BitTorrent as well and finally we are going to perform automation testing of application in Raspberry Pi using Selenium which is a cool part of Execute Automation so we have to anyhow bring automation testing in any of the videos we develop so in Raspberry Pi, we are going to bring the testing of an application using Selenium on the next operating system, right? That's the great thing that we're going to do. Wait, this we can do with a normal virtual machine as well, right? Well, of course, yes, you can. But the scope of this course is more than just automation testing with Selenium because we're not just going to do only automation testing with Selenium. This is just a part of our, this video series. But we are going to perform a lot of things as I said before like understanding what Raspberry Pi is and how to install different Linux distro in Raspberry Pi like Ubuntu, Raspbian, Debian and different operating system. You can also install Windows IoT Core in that. So we're going to install different operating systems in Raspberry Pi and also we're going to check how to work with Raspberry Pi from Windows and how to remote desktop Raspberry Pi from Windows using VNC and how to convert Raspberry Pi as your custom stripped down server for specific operation as we were talking about. Apart from that, using additional sensor boards, we can extend Raspberry Pi lot of IoT operations, which is completely out of the scope of this course. But still, we will try to add some of these sensors to our existing Raspberry Pi and see how it works. So to learn more on Raspberry Pi, you can just go to www.raspberrypi.org slash blog or www.raspberrypi.org slash forums or you can also subscribe for the Raspberry Pi magazine which is completely free. So you can see from here the raspberrypi.org here you can see there are a lot of information available like teach, learn and make Raspberry Pi and there is Raspberry Pi Academy. Pi Academy USA resources and you can see there are a lot of stuffs man and seriously the the blog is pretty very helpful because there are so many projects which can be developed using this Raspberry Pi you can see they they can develop a Game Boy using the Raspberry Pi or you can also make this uh, this uh, feather station with Raspberry Pi and you can do a lot of cool things with Raspberry Pi and as I already said, there is a magazine, Pi Magazine, that you can subscribe and you can download and you can see there are different kinds of projects that they can make using the Raspberry Pi. So I think this Raspberry Pi is pretty exciting. So we will start working with Raspberry Pi in this course and we can start unboxing the Raspberry Pi in the next video. And we'll also see how to install Raspberry Pi operating systems like Ubuntu Mate uh, in our Raspberry Pi operating system. And also we'll try to remote in and perform various different operations that you do in a normal Linux operating system. So stay tuned guys, we will learn a lot more in this video series on Raspberry Pi, how to install and perform various different operations. And thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.